Foye here with MMAweekly.com. Justin, congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks. You seemed to do pretty well throughout the entire fight, had a handle on it. Uh, tell us about the final moments and what led you to that win. Um, he kind of, uh, I'm not really exactly sure how he got to the ground. We kind of clinched up and maybe tripped each other up. He kind of felt like he jumped guard him. I'm not sure, I don't remember. You know, uh, the fight had a couple up and down moments, but you know, he tied up his hands and he tried to pull like a deep half guard. You know, he sucked himself under real deep. He was in guard at first, and I think I started passing and uh, kept my knee in his butt. Uh, and he pulled half guard and tried to sweep me, and he kind of stretched himself out. I mean, and he's 6'1, 145, he's long, you know, so there's a lot of spaces in those arms when he's reaching. So uh, I just sunk, sunk in the darts choke, man, and I hit down, flattened out, and he, he kind of turned into it and made it deeper. I mean, usually I, it's hard to finish a guy from half guard and with the darts, you know, I have to get past the guard and really flatten out. But uh, he kind of rolled into it, and I, yeah, it felt deep. I didn't think he was going to tap that quick, you know. Now, Garz is a guy that has a lot of tools and, you know, has, has a unique frame and size for, for your weight class. Uh, how much does this victory mean to you, knowing that what he has in his arsenal? It's huge, man. I submitted a, 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 a submission special, a specialist, man. Uh, he's probably got eight or nine submission wins, you know, on his record, so and he just did a flying triangle, you know. Uh, you know, it's awesome to submit a, a guy like that whose game is submissions, you know. You know, I know it was a slow start because I didn't want to overcommit. You know, I'm trying to find a balance between that aggression I have. You know, I really like to get started and get bloody. I like to throw hands and, and I love to fight. You know, I genuinely enjoy tucking my chin and getting in a brawl. And, uh, but I can't do that anymore. It's the UFC. I'm a professional fighter. And, uh, you know, I have to pick my shots. So the beginning was slow. I felt like he was trying to draw me in and make me get over, you know, overzealous and get caught up. But I, I think I fought a smart, a smart fight. And you obviously did because you're the victor in, yeah. this, in this situation. So congratulations on that. Thanks. Uh, any thought of uh, submission of the night? I mean, so far there's only two submissions on this on this card, and uh, we're on, we're going on the co-main event right now. And uh, I don't know. What do you think? You think a dark choke's better than? Uh, I thought it was pretty sweet, man. I mean, it's okay for you to parade around. I mean, and say I, you got it. You I got mean, it good. Oh uh, man, that's a game changer, bro. I think it's uh, sixty-five thousand dollars tonight. You know, so man, that's uh, my wife's in college. I need this cash. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a homeowner. Help me out. There you Help go, me out, Dana. <laughs> now um, you've been on you've been on a winning streak in, in the UFC. You haven't lost since your WBC days. Um, what have you done in order to to ensure you stay on the winning track? I worked my ass off. That's what I've done. Um, no cutting corners. You know, I'm a hard worker. Um, I come from you know Louisiana. We work hard out here, man. We I, I, nothing was given to me. I've earned everything I, I have, you know. And I'm and I'm building a, a empire brick by brick, punch by punch, you know. And um, you know, it's just all my hard work paying off, man. I mean, I really, I'm really passionate about this. I can't sleep at night. You know? I, I just want to win fights, and, and, and I dedicate myself to fight. And, and this happened. How much has Tim Crater helped you in your preparation for fights? I wouldn't be where I'm at without Tim. If I'd never met Tim, you know, I think I'd eventually got here. But, you know, I wouldn't my my technique and, and you know, just my understanding of the game and his years of, of, of being in fighting, you know, it just rubbed off on me. And, his, you know, just the business of MMA, you know, he, he showed me the ropes. Thanks for talking with MMAWeekly.com. Thanks, man.